Welcome back to How to File the FAFSA Form with the Financial Aid King. We're in the home stretch. All you need to do now is place in the signatures, the student's FSA user ID and password, and the parent's FSA user ID and password. If you're using, let's say, your dad's password and he's parent number two on the FAFSA form, you click parent number two and enter his FSA user ID and password. Then what you do is you click submit, and this is a great feeling. It will say, congratulations, you've completed the FAFSA form, but you're not done yet. About a quarter way down on the page, they'll say, do you want to complete your state applications? You want to click on this link and you'll be directed directly over to the website. New York State students are going to go do the New York State TAP application. Another state, you're going to be going over and doing your own state application for grant. And you'll use the same state tax information to do that. Also, the federal government does select about 30% of all FAFSA forms to go through what they call the verification process. Doesn't mean you did anything wrong in the FAFSA form, but they want to confirm the information. What will happen is the financial aid office is going to send you a letter and request additional information. If when you receive this letter you don't know what to do, please contact the financial aid office and they will help you. So now you're done and it's a great feeling. All you have to do now is sit back, relax, and wait for your college to accept you. Once your college accepts you, they're going to send you a financial aid decision, and then you're on easy street. Thank you again for joining us for the series of how to file the financial aid, how to file the Thanks again for Thanks again for how to file the financial Thanks again for how to join Thanks again for joining us for how to file the FAFSA with the financial aid king. Have a great day.